Bye, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Episode 007, board bartender. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nadine. We've got a few voices on there. Jerry, Maji. Hey, Nick, how's it going? <clears throat> Do you like our moon? <laughs> Full moon tonight, that's right. So to get in the mood for tonight, we were listening to some loungy music, which was a lot of fun while we were setting up. That so if you guys made our setting up a little bit yeah. more laid back. So if you guys are at home dressed up, getting ready to make some fancy cocktails, highly recommend recommend putting on some Frank Sinatra or you know whatever you like. Hi, Tim. Yeah, so we, we kind of got this uh, this idea going the other day. We were like, you know. We're not gonna be able to go out. Like, what? What are all the people that are going out to? You know, go to, to dinners go, yeah. or going to shows or go listen to a band and stuff like that. Like, what are they doing? You know, like we're just all sitting at home, not working. So uh, why not get all dressed up at home? You yeah. Know? So we invited you guys to do that with us. I hope that a few of you have. If if you if you are uh, joining us tonight and if you're a little getting fancy at home. Mm. Uh, definitely post some pictures for us so that we can uh, not feel alone. <laughs> I mean, we don't mind being weird all on our own. I mean, we do it all the time, but, you know, it's fun when other people join in and get silly. Hi, Erica. Hi, Emily. Janet says she's driving home with us, with, uh, with us sexy people. Ooh. <laughs> Janet, it's good Thank to be you, in Janet. your car. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. Pam. I don't know if Emily heard me. Hi, Emily. And we got our we got our favorite one of our favorites, Pam. <laughs> and Laurentia. Pam says we look gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Pam. That was awfully <laughs> sweet of you, Pam. <laughs> so last episode on Wednesday, we did shots for you guys. And we only did three um, because there's just millions of them. And we can always do another shots night. So, you know, if you guys have ideas. Keep them coming. We've been trying to cover the things that you guys have suggested, so we're gonna keep keep doing that. Um, on Monday, we're gonna do kind of an impromptu, really short episode. It's not gonna be a full uh, thing. We got a, um, a generous donation from a good friend of mine's private stock, and we're gonna open the box, like a bark box, and be surprised, and we're just both gonna try to come up with something on the fly. Uh, maybe we'll have some of our mixers out to see you know, what we can come up with, but... Um, yeah, so that should be a lot of fun. That one will probably be half of what our normal episodes are. So um, definitely uh, tune in on Monday for that. And we'll try to keep it at 8 o'clock to keep things consistent. So we got a few more people joining. Hi, Scott, Amanda, Nikki, and Sylvia. How's Aww. it going? Miss you, Nikki. So we'll just wait a, a little bit longer. We'll see how many uh, how many people decide to join us tonight. We, it looks like we've got a, a few people who've uh, who've joined in. Maybe some others are scurrying to put their pants on. <laughs> who knows? Or don't. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> she says I'm handsome and you're pretty. Who said that? Uh, Mabel Sagas. Ah <laughs> uh, well, thank you. <laughs> uh, we love you, Janet. I have that New York, New York in my head now. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, dun, dun, <laughs> dun, 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 Yeah, so that's going to be happening, this whole entire thing. Oh, hey, so... Hey, Matt. Hi, Kimmy. Oh, hey. <clears throat> so, uh, right before we decided to go live tonight, we just learned that, uh, what is it, today is International Whiskey Day, right? Yes. We just learned that, like, seriously, two minutes before we went on, which is fitting, because today, I'm going to make you... Actually, before I introduce the drink, which you guys probably already know, um, this was all inspired by an iconic American hero um, who had a very sophisticated palate when it came to drinking. So we wanted to share a couple of drinks that appeared um, in those movies. So I am going to be making, in honor of that and in honor of Whiskey Day, um, an old fashioned. Thank you, Andy. You're welcome. 
So um, there is a lot of debate about how to make a proper old fashioned, but I believe that I actually have the proper recipe for an old fashioned, which is a cube of sugar dropped into a glass and a couple of dashes of bitters. Let's see, can you guys see that? I don't know, there's a delay, probably. So you're gonna do that right on top. I forgot a muddler. Jeez, uh, can you get me the muddler? <laughs> oh, my husband's such a good sport. He's always down for all the weird shenanigans that I, you know, that I recommend. <laughs> He's a good sport. Everybody should give it up for Andy. Go Andy. <laughs> Such a good sport. <laughs> and he's so handsome too. <laughs> oh, and thank you, sir. Thank you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna muddle, um, sometimes I'll do a splash of water, which would have been nice actually. Um, I'm gonna pour a tiny bit of water into the jigger off camera. <laughs> and then you're gonna muddle that. Uh, some people like to muddle um, the, the rind of an orange, or they like to do a cherry in here. That's actually not the classic recipe. The part that's supposed to be muddled is the sugar and the bitters. Um, and it's just one cube. And again, you know, these are all, you know, our, our versions of these things. So, you know, if you do it a different way, that's awesome. You know, whatever, whatever you like. You're the one drinking it. You should drink things the way you like them. Anyway, so that's nice and muddled. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do about two ounces of bourbon, and I'm gonna eyeball this. So, you know, we'll see what that turns out to. I love that sound, that pop. Um, we're gonna do the bourbon next. Mm -hmm. Oreos. Yes. Ooh, Oreos. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. And then, after we do that, we're gonna take our ice. And we're going to put that right on top here. Mm -hmm. Woo! It's a good drink right there. And because I do like to garnish things, because I think it's pretty and it adds a little something. Well, first, actually, I'm going to stir this. You do not shake an old fashioned, you stir it, get all the ingredients mixed together. Um, oh, and if you don't have sugar cubes, you know, I mean, who does? Um, you can use simple syrup or you can just use regular sugar. Um, bitters is kind of an integral part of it, but I'm going to use this little cute little uh, orange rind that Matt made for me. And then I'm going to grab one of my Luxardo cherries and put that on top. And you need sound effects when you're making drinks, so I encourage you to make sound effects while you're doing it. And then you just drop that in, maybe give it a little, one more little stir. All right, let me get this stuff out of the way. And there you have, in my opinion, a proper old fashioned. Cheers. Woo, that was boozy. Andy, uh, our dog is eating Damn. Oreos now. Hey. Um, so, <laughs> excuse us for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate's good for dogs, right? <laughs> you left it where she could reach it. <laughs> Oh, Danny just had her first Oreo. She only had part, she only had part of the cracker. <laughs> uh, just the chocolate part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was delicious. It was really good. Um, it, it is a boozy drink. So I, I've heard a lot of, like, I actually ordered an old-fashioned somewhere, and they put soda water in it, and I was very offended. Um, but you could, if that's what you like. You could, I mean, you could put Sprite. You could really do anything you want. Um, but really, it's just kind of a, a you know, whiskey on the rocks kind of a drink traditionally. Uh, and it's really tasty if you're into whiskey. And happy whiskey day. Um, what else did we want to talk about? I really feel like the old fashioned and the, uh, the spirit of the 007 kind of theme that we were doing is, is quite fitting considering that we can, uh, you know, <clears throat> he was, he's, he's such a, a long time kind of hero in the, the old fashioned spy sense and yeah. everything. So it is fitting also he does drink them throughout some of the films, maybe not all of them. It's not his go-to. Well, and there's so many drinks. Um, we, when we looked up, you know, what we wanted to make, obviously we we're definitely making a Vesper, but uh, when we looked up what else we wanted to make, there are so many. And I mean, I, I like James Bond, but I'm not um, super fluent, I guess I would say, with all of the movies are really, really familiar. I don't know, maybe that's a weird way to say it. 
Um, but I do love old fashions. And a lot of times when we're working and we're busy, Matt knows that I like making them. He'll be like, hey, will you make me an old fashioned? So I make that. I'm usually the go-to old fashioned guy, girl. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that also reminds me, so, the, you know, we were inspired by different movies to, to make this drink and the one that I'm going to be following it up with. Um, if you guys have any ideas of your favorite drinks from movies, please feel free to send those in the comments. We'll, we'd love to have your ideas and maybe we can put them in a future episode. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty cool. That would be awesome. So again, so last episode we talked about, you know, a lot of people were tagging us in pictures of themselves and of like funny memes that they would find. <laughs> And uh, we got tagged in one that was some great social distancing pickup lines. Um, <laughs> I was cracking Matt up last night reading them to him. And we just wrote down a couple of our favorites. My yeah. personal favorite was, um, which one was it? It was Ding. the, uh, oh, okay. So you're walking up to somebody and you say, baby, do you need some toilet paper? Because I could be your Prince Charming. <laughs> that was my personal favorite of them. <laughs> yeah, he laughed about that for a little while. <laughs> Uh, and then my favorite one was, if COVID-19 doesn't take you out, can I? <laughs> so keep that, keep that stuff coming, guys. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, along with making all these drinks and everything, we've been trying to lighten up the, the environment and the kind of angst or whatever that can yeah. be happening. You know, we're all Cabin pent fever. up. You know, we've been pent up since, what, last Monday evening. It's we've, day you know, 12 for us? Yeah. Or yeah. 11? Uh, Something 11, like that. 11. So, yeah. so 11 days we've been here in the house together. You know, we all love each other very much. But, we do, we do. But it, at that point, that many days in a row being stuck in the same house, uh, we can get on each other's nerves every once in a while. And, it's you good know, times. Yeah, I'm glad that I'm in great company and, you know, people who, who can put up with me and, and, and that I'm willing to, to put up with, with, with them. And, and, and It's and, really me that's hard to put up with, but they're, they're good. They're pretty patient. <laughs> so now... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the drink that I'm making tonight. And this one is, I think, one of the favorites of 007. He liked to um, drink martinis, and the drink that I'm going to be making is a Vesper martini. Thank you, sir. So to start off this drink, what we're going to do is have a chilled martini glass. You could put it in the fridge. Uh, the freezer might be a little bit too, too cold, I think. Well, and not just that. It's kind of a delicate glass. True, so. true, true. Um, and then with that, we're going to need a shaker and the strainer. We will need gin. Usually this is made with like a, like a Gordon's or a Hendrix gin, but we decided since we aren't big uh, gin drinkers, we have a little tiny bottle of Bombay here for us. Which will probably be here until somebody comes over that's a gin drinker whenever, you know, this social distancing is lifted. True, true. We're going to be using vodka. and a little bit of extra dry vermouth. Along with that, we will have a lemon peel garnish, and that is it for the ingredients. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move these bottles out of my way so I don't knock them all over. And I'm gonna add a little bit of ice to the shaker. As with most martinis and shots, you could put about a quarter of the ice in there, or a quarter of the shaker full of ice. So that is about a quarter shaker there with the ice. And what I'm going to do is uh, the first one, uh, the most base alcohol in this martini is going to be the gin. And for the gin, we're going to be putting two ounces of gin in there. I don't have a pour spout for this one, so I'm going to be using my little jigger here. And then I'm going to be putting one ounce of the vodka. Oh, mm. Would you like me to get you one now? Yes, please. Thank if you. If I could get one of these napkins. Hold on. There we go. A little. Outside of Oreos, cheese stick cubes are my favorite. So, do you know? <laughs> and then lastly, what I'm going to put in is the dry vermouth. The dry vermouth is going to be the, the smallest portion in this martini. So we're going to be doing about a quarter ounce of the dry vermouth. You don't want to put a lot in there. This is probably another thing that's going to be hanging out at our house for a while. 
Luckily, these are only about $4 for this, this amount. So. Yeah, or we could rehome it. <laughs> well, probably, yeah, that sounds like a better option. <laughs> Cheesy. And then with all of those contents in there with the ice, I am going to put on the top to this shaker. Give it a good shake. Shake it at the moon. Sylvia said she'll take the dip. It's yours, girl. First come, first serve. <laughs> Just don't come here right now. Yeah. Ten feet. <laughs> <laughs> And, and then we are going to put the strainer back on the top. Go ahead and fill the martini glass. You know, I just came to think of it. This is a, a favorite drink. He makes it slightly different of one of our regulars. Uh, we haven't been seeing him as often lately. He's been busy with work. Um, but he comes into our bar and uh, has a slight variation to this. Instead of the vermouth, he likes a little Chardonnay, the same portion, and that put in there as well. And then we will put this garnish on the side. And there you have it, a Vesper Martini. How is it? You know, not being a gin drinker myself, it's not that bad. Uh, I'll be the judge of that. I'll be the judge of that. Let's see. Gin is definitely an acquired taste. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's actually, that's actually pretty good. It is pretty good. I wouldn't be pretty drinking good. them all night long, though. Because I do know that gin gives me a gnarly hangover. Well, what does our friend Randy say? Martinis are like breasts. One's not enough and three's too many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I forgot about that. I miss that guy so much. We see him all <laughs> week long and just nonstop comedic humor from him. He is a hilarious individual. Absolutely. One of the benefits of being a bartender. Not only do we entertain you, but you guys entertain us and it's great. We miss it. <laughs> Miss working. I just actually recalled one of the other memes that was a pretty good one. Um, it, what was it? Uh, since all the public libraries are closed, I'm checking you out instead. That was another <laughs> one of the good COVID-19 uh, pickup lines. <clears throat> awesome. I love it. Um, so next, oh, I already, I already said, Monday. Monday we're going to do a little impromptu video. Um, I think we've also been talking about the possibility of uh, Wednesday doing a tequila night, right? Yes. Tequila. We haven't done tequila yet. We also haven't done rum, so we're working on it. Um, we originally were thinking, you know, of cutting it down to three or four days, but even three days feels like a lot. So it's probably more often going to be two days. Um, yeah. So hopefully you guys continue to, you know, tune in and watch the videos. It's been a lot of fun. It's really fun to put it together. Um, Andy, did you want to try this? Did you want to try this? Yeah, uh, come try this Vesper Martini. I don't know if you've had one of these before. Come on over here. It's really good. Surprise, you know, I'm surprised because I'm definitely not a gin drinker. A friend of ours, we used to do a Friday night. Um, oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We used to do Friday night um, cocktail hour at his house, and we would make random uh, cocktails. And he convinced me that as a bartender who's been doing it as long as I have been, that I should have a few really good gin drinks under my belt. And so we, we learned some and also learned that you only have to drink a couple of drinks with gin in them to have a hangover. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember who it was. Um, I believe it was our Sunday brunch had made a comment to Andy saying something about his shoes. He is wearing his shoes today, guys. So, you know, don't you worry. He, he, he went through all the road wardrobe. Oh, yes, that was John. John, yeah. John, John was what? Yeah, okay. So, um, you know, as before, if anyone's feeling generous and would like to make a donation to help us fund more ingredients and make more videos, um, that's always appreciated and welcome. Uh, you can Venmo us at Allison Grass. Also, please feel free to like and share any and all of our videos, you guys. Check us out on YouTube. We're also on Facebook. We also are on Instagram now at Board Bartenders. And next week, don't forget, um, so starting Monday, we'll actually broadcast from our Board Bartenders page. So if you'd like to continue to watch the videos with us live and be a part of the, of the commentary, um, go like and follow Board Bartenders um, on Facebook. And don't forget to post pictures of yourself, especially tonight. If you guys are wearing uh, any fancy attire, if you guys made a Vesper Martini with me, go ahead and send us some pictures of those things. You can put them in the comments. You can... Uh, Send them in a direct message straight to our Board Bartender's Facebook page. 
whatever works for you. And thank you guys for continuing to participate and support us. We really appreciate it. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. We love doing this with you. And that, that's true, guys. We couldn't do this without you, all right? So cheers. Cheers. cheers.